Dear viewers, uh, I am Dr. Mandur Samalek, I surgeon from Al Shifa Eye Hospital, Bhawalpur, Pakistan. Today I am going to explain you about corneal ulcer. Corneal ulcer is a condition of the cornea which is uh, very painful and there is watering, there is pain, there is uh, uh, sometimes diminution of vision. Uh, going to the basic, this anterior part of the eye is known as cornea, which is uh, shown to be black, and the rest of the white part of the eye is known as sclera. And the, uh, this layer above the white part of the eye is known as conjunctiva. So, this corneal ulcer is the condition of the cornea with the width in which there is discontinuity in the superficial epithelial layer of the cornea along with infection. So, basically it is a infection of the cornea which may be bacterial corneal ulcer or it may be fungal corneal ulcer or it may be viral or it may be protozoal corneal ulcers. This is uh, according to the etiological agent, the causative agent which is leading to this type of ulcer. This is some bacterial ulcer in which there is superficial invasion of the bacteria leading to destruction of the epithelium and deeper layer of the stroma, superficial layer of the stroma, deeper to the epithelium. And this leads to uh, necrosis of the cells, pus formation and even leading to this type of perforation of the cornea. And before perforation sometimes if it is uh, infection is hearted with the application of antibiotic drops, ointment, injectable or some uh, oral antibiotics, then we can get opacity over here and we may heart perforation and we can get open opacity of the cornea. Initially, if it is Aldarsar is Sabal, we can make it stop with the use of antibiotic eye drops, antibiotic ointments, and oral or uh, intravenous uh, antibiotics. But if it is late or sometimes uh, uh, due to delayed medicine or inadequate medicine, it, it may worsen and may lead to a big uh, abscess formation then that may lead to a perforation of the cornea and then one, one, may, one may need a corneal transplantation. Then the other second cause of the corneal ulcer is fungal, fungal corneal ulcer. This is fungal corneal ulcer which is a type of fungating ulcer. There it is branched ulcer, it is great abscess in, in the center and on the sides it is branched and sometimes you can note satellite regions around the abscess. So, for this type of antifungal fungal ulcers, we use antifungal drops, antibiotic ointments, and sometimes oral antifungal medicines. The third type, which is very common, is again this uh, viral cardiac ulcer. Among the viral cardiac ulcer, very common is the herpes simplex viral keratitis which is typical in shape and it is known as dendritic ulcers just like dendrites and it is branched ulcer over the cornea. So for the treatment of this uh, viral cornea ulcer we give topical antiviral ointment every four hourly to to, re to recover the superficial epithelial layer and to halt the infection and to uh, get the cornea bit clear. So these are the types bacterial, fungal and viral cornea ulcer. And uh, again the protozoal type of cornea ulcers may be uh, that may be just like acanthemiba cornea ulcer which is usually just like fungal it is uh, a bit uh, little different from that in the sense that uh, it is uh, in the form of uh, 
a ring around the main abscess and then it is also very painful condition it is usually in contact lens users in contact lens users they if they use tap water they can get acanthaba keratitis so for prevention of the this uh, uh, from prevention from corneal ulceration one should get avoid from the trauma and you should keep your hands and eyes clean to have good hygiene so that you may not get any infection if you get some infection then you may uh, consult your doctor to to have a better treatment so the risk factors usually for the formation of these corneal ulcers are contact lens wearing trauma to the eye or ocular surface disease just like dry eye and sometimes immunocompromised diseases just like uh, aids or sometimes uh, in uh, just like in uh, even in uh, this viral disease uh, just like a trauma with the vegetative matters diabetes mellitus and injury with animal tail or or sometimes from animal material that injury may lead to again fungal type of corneal ulcers and trauma from the vegetable matter may also lead to fungal type of corneal ulcers so symptoms are the complaints where usually pain photophobia dislikeness to the sunlight blurring of vision usually there is discharge which is in the form of pus in case of bacterial and fungal corneal ulcers firm body sensation pain watering of the eye and redness and then in signs you can see uh, this big opacity on the cornea and there is around the cornea there is lot of redness around the cornea similarly in case of fungal ulcer you may say see a white lesion on the cornea and huge redness around the cornea in case of viral ulcer similar congestion around the cornea and on the cornea you may see branch ulcer if we stain with fluorescein then you will see green branch ulcer on the surface of the cornea and after this uh, opacification after this uh, uh, infection if there is perforation then you may see this type of condition when the cornea is perforated after uh, an cornea ulcer or abscess you may come across perforation perforated cornea ulcer so these are different uh, uh, types of ulcer that you can see and uh, come across when you uh, see the condition of the cornea and then for prevention again you have to you have to take care of uh, getting trauma and take care of your hygiene and try to uh, get your treatment earlier from a better doctor so that if it is a initial infection you may control it in a better way but later on if the condition is worse then it may lead to perforation or even endophthalmitis pus may go into the inside the eye and their condition is known as endophthalmitis mean uh, then uh, eye becomes almost dead and uh, we lose total vision if it is the initial stage and that if it leads to opacification of the cornea then corneal opacity may be treated with corneal transplantation so for this the main advice is that you should take care of your eyes you should use protective glasses doing labor work or sometime in outdoor work and more work 
if there is uh, some trauma or pain in the eye you should get your eye doctor consulted and get your better treatment to get rid of this problem in the initial stage if it is worsens then it may lead to even lead to blindness and dreadful complications so thank you very much i think you will uh, take care of your eyes and if if you feel any problem you may consult me on my whatsapp number 0324 Six seven double four zero two four. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum.